for your midday sports report. Now, the 14 Jamaica under-17 footballers who missed their flight to Guatemala for the CONCACAF Championship yesterday will board their flight to the South American country in a matter of hours from the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. The players were not allowed to board the flight from Montego Bay on Thursday morning as they did not have the requisite travel document to enter the country upon arrival at the Sangster International Airport. The JFF selected a 24-member squad to travel to the championship, with Jamaica's first match set for Sunday against Cuba with kickoff at 5 p.m. The Jamaicans will then go up against Guadeloupe next Tuesday before closing out the group stages against Costa Rica next Thursday. The top two teams from each group will qualify for the round of 16, joining Bermuda, Puerto Rico, Nicaragua and the Dominican Republic. The semi-finalists will qualify for the FIFA Under-17 World Cup, which takes place in Peru from November 10 to December 2. Now, despite a maiden first class half century from Kirk McKenzie, the Jamaica Scorpions were still struggling at 107 for 8 at sports time in their second innings against the Barbados Pride in the post lunch session on a day three of their regional four day match at the Coolidge Cricket Ground in Antigua. They lead by a mere 37 runs. McKenzie has a top scored with 56 for the Scorpions, who resumed on six without loss. Ajay Shields, 20, and Gordon Bryan went to. Went who are yet to score are the not-out batsmen. Now, Jamie Merchant, with 10, is the only other batsman to get into double figures for the Scorpions in another disappointing performance. Akeem Jordan has been the pick of the Barbados Pride bowlers with 4 for 47. Shamar Springer and Jair McAllister have taken two wickets each. India have continued their control of the first test against Australia, reaching 321 for 7 in their first innings reply at Stump Sunday 2 in Nagpur. They lead by 144 runs. Aksar Patel, 52, and Ravindra Jadeja, 62, were the not-out batsmen at the close for India, who had resumed on 77 for one. Captain Rohit Sharma made 120 after resuming on 56. Debutant spinner Todd Murphy has so far taken 5 for 82 for the Aussies. Now, both, Her both Herbert Morrison and St. Catherine High are expressing confidence ahead of this afternoon's Issa National Basketball on the 19 final at the Stadium Courts, which is set to tip off at 5.30 p.m. St. Catherine booked their spot in the decider with a 60-35 win over Campion College in their semi-final on Wednesday, thanks to a 17-point, 12-rebound performance from Radair Broomfield. Their coach, Lennox Lindo, says they're looking to right the wrong from their last final appearance. Hopefully, if we can play some good day, we're supposed to have it because our offense is, is not a problem. Now, Herbert Martin coach Dave Black is expecting to be a, it to be a tough final as he has personal knowledge of some of the St. Catherine players. They beat JC 53-49 thanks to a game-high 18 points from Ronaldo Lewin in their semi-final. Yes, um, it's going to be a, a tough challenge knowing um, LeBron and knowing um, Nathan and a couple of the players who know that um, they are pretty good. But we're up for the challenge. Campion College and St. George's College will face off in the Under-16 final before that starting at 3 p.m. Campion beat Manchester High 58-38 in their matchup to advance from the semi-finals, while St. George's College had a 57-53 win over North Street rivals Kingston College to join Campion in the final. There will also be third-place playoffs for both the Under-19 and Under-16 sections. And that's it for your midday sports report. Shane, it's back to you. Thanks, Jordan. And that's what we pull up for today on the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.